If I am tasked to answer whether the, the election was peaceful or not, first of all, I will, what comes to my mind is the abbreviation, uh, the definition of peace. What is peace? One of us um, inv was involved as a parish supervisor. Uh, another was an agent. Another person was election observer. Then the rest of the teammates uh, did the voting part. There was democracy in the election and we all voted as team members. I happened to be one of the voters' uh, agents for the presidential and uh, MPs elect to be. According to the election environment, it was peaceful and calm, though so much intimidation was there with the soldiers and police around. Invalid votes, mm. there are over 5,000. Mm. Uh, yes, and helping you know, okay. Peace does not sim simply mean the absence of violence or conflict. So, in the previously concluded presidential and parliamentary election, I think what took place does not define peace as it is. Does not bring out the concept of peace. However, there were challenges that people faced. Um, for example, the voting materials that took long. People woke up really very early in the morning and they went to different polling stations, but they were disappointed really that they went there and there were no voting materials. So my message to everyone out there is that let us go and vote in this coming election on Wednesday. Let us go and vote because sitting out there in your comfort zone and being there when you be the first people to complain that elections were, the votes were reached is not really fair. Let us go and vote and support our candidates so that we take, we take change for a better and a peaceful Uganda. <laughs>